Unexpected muscle cramps have long been the Achilles heel for athletes at every level, from Olympians to weekend warriors. If you have cramps cramping your style on the basketball court or the tennis court, the WSJ's Matthew Futterman may have some solutions for you. Welcome, Matt. Thanks for having me. Okay, so lots of people thought that these uh, muscle cramps derived from dehydration, but that, we're finding out that that's not the case. No, right, that's what? what we've always thought. I mean, I'm a marathon runner, and I always thought when my legs were starting to tighten up, uh, stop at the water station, grab some Gatorade, grab some water, that that was that that would help. Eat one of those, you know, electrolyte pack gels. Um, but the recent research is showing that it may be. Not wow, and it may not be the muscles that are causing the muscles cramps. So it's really the nerves, right? Right. So uh, that's been where the research is that this is a misfiring of uh, of, of your nerve impulses. Uh, you know, the nerves are sort of an input-output sort of a system, and the nerves send messages to your muscles to behave a certain way. And that when you get a cramp, it's essentially sending a bad message there. It's not the muscles telling the nerve to, to feel a certain way and telling your body to feel a certain way, but uh, it, it's a poorly formed message going from the nerve to the muscle. And there's a million studies out there, and you have to be skeptical, but this got the attention of all things a Nobel Prize winning science. Right. Rod McKinnon was kayaking 10 years ago. This is where this, this sort of new thinking on cramps began. Okay. Rod McKinnon, uh, who won the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 2003, was kayaking, kayaking excuse me, in 2006 and got these terrible cramps in his arms. And actually, it was kind of dangerous. Uh, eventually, he made it back to shore, but it got him thinking on what what was the cause of these cramps? Why, why do we get them? And because he didn't quite accept the idea um, that it was just about hydration and, mm. and electrolytes because he was hydrated and he had electrolytes. So uh, in looking into it, he sort of hypothesized that it was a problem with the nerve impulses and it was a problem with the message that was being sent. And uh, he, so he started to play around with ideas of things that could, that could settle those impulses down. Uh, and, and one of the things that, it, that, that does that is incredibly spicy, um, pungent tasting liquids and foods, hmm. uh, what they do is they, so, they, they sort of mellow out your nervous system in, in, in a way. Um, and so he would, he would eat spicy foods or spicy drinks and then try and electrically uh, stimulate a cramp, which can be done. And what he found was that it was much harder to do uh, if he was e if he was eating the spicy food beforehand, okay, um, and they continue to do studies on it, and uh, they, and lo and behold, it seems to be. Um, it works. Is there a growing market around spicy products for endurance Well, athletes? he himself is actually part of a company that's launched this product called Hot Shot, uh, which is a little bottle, and it comes in a 1.7 fluid ounces, and you drink it 15 or 30 minutes before you, say, go on a long run if you're training for a marathon. Uh, and the theory is that will sort of prevent you, it'll mellow out your nervous system and it'll prevent the cramps from cropping up. Wow. And there are other, but, but there are other people that have been taking homemade remedies for, uh, for a long time. Have you tried it? I have tried it um, and you know, it does kind of work. It's really interesting. Um, it's not it's a not psychosomatic a complete, thing. It's right? not a, well, you never quite know. It's hard to tell because you know, it's not a thing where you can take a placebo because right. You can't take a you know a sugar pill or a water tablet because you can't fool yourself because you have to taste some you have to shock your system with something that's really pungent. So um, there there may be something of a psychosomatic reaction that you're having, uh, but you know those reactions are real. If if you have that reaction and it prevents you from cramping up. Uh, and you run faster, then I guess it works. All right, Futterman, I'm looking forward to some increased time, some and improved time. Absolutely, and LeBron James won't get his cramps in the <laughs> exactly. NBA Finals anymore. Yeah, right? maybe he'll make it again. We'll right. see. All right, great, for ha great, great to be here. All right, thanks a lot, buddy.